I assume that most of you have already read the patch notes anyway. For the few of you that haven't, Iskel did a really cool thing where instead of reading it from a website, and I think he's done this in the past with season two, he uploaded the image or like a clip image from the Google document onto the camera mod and threw it onto the like in his inventory and was like reading it off from game. And I thought that was absolutely genius. So I'm stealing the fuck out of that. Anyway, here's the patch notes for the day. I'm going to give you guys a really quick rundown because I'm sure you've already seen the updates, but maybe if you're Asian Frogs and you didn't catch the updates from today, today was pretty much the, oh, literally everyone is dying in vaults and skeletons deal five hearts out of the vault in the fucking overworld. So I'm getting three tapped by them with power of 17 bows in full vault here. Let's fix some things and God bless them for doing so. It's actually kind of an insane update. Let me give you a rundown if you haven't already. So first of all, let's turn this down just a little bit more. First of all, with the vaults. Uh, well, actually, with the Vault Hunters SMP mod. Big plans for Gladiator Interaction, and they'll be working on it for this week. So this whole entire deal, as well as being able to buy Gladiator ticket with channel points, is going to be nice because, let's be honest, the Gladiator Arena as it is isn't really that great. Like, it's fine, but it... I don't know, running away and then dying quickly. Like, there's a lot of potential there. So I'm excited for what this brings. The Vault, they added eight new themes. How the fuck they pull that off in a week? What the hell? Well, they had DLC packed down. We didn't have to pay for it. Like that Call of Duty? Anyway, but yeah, they added eight new themes. That's not just eight in total. That's eight new themes, all available from level zero. And they also added a decoration layer to each theme. I guess we'll check it out when we get into the Vaults. But it was pretty cool, though. Uh, added a new game mechanic called Beginner's Grace. If you've been watching it all today, this was the biggest change they made. Every unmodified crystal before level 10 rolls Beginner's Grace as a modifier. Beginner's Grace will make it so if you die, you keep the items you entered but gain no experience. This might not be the final state of the game, but the intention is to teach the player about vaults, and this encourages the player to be extra greedy early game and push limits with the only cost being the crystal itself and the experience progression made in the vault if the player dies. So now, and, and that's why, like... These boys are running, like, a ton of vaults right now, cooperatively. Because it's like, if we die, we don't lose anything. And that's pretty much what everybody's been slamming down today, is just running a bunch of new vaults without the fear of possibly losing everything. I know uh, Abe, who I've been watching a good bit because 14-hour streamer gang. Um, Abe has, like, a bunch of burgers to be able to level, but he's just hanging around at level 9 because he just want to lose the Beginner's Grace quite yet. <laughs> and I respect it. And Crystal's Craft is now displayed in the stat screen under Vault Sets. Challenge and Balance updates. May the cost increase for Crystal scale slower, so recipes are cheaper longer. I'm looking at you, motherfucking 130 bones on my, what feels like, 7th Crystal I've ever crafted. You son of bitch. I hate you. Anyway. Challenge rooms have been overhauled. The goal is to create a challenge that the player chooses to enter the room. Previously, previously, challenge rooms didn't have a clear direction, but were just flooded mindlessly with mobs. This has been adjusted, and overall, this should be seen as challenge rooms have become slightly easier, but most importantly, more graspable. Overall, remove creepers before level 10 as a challenge mob, rework timings and groups of spawners, aka no going down to the dig site challenge room and getting dive bombed by a creeper. Factory now contains one unbreakable spawner in the center and quick ambush spawners in every crate to challenge the player when getting the loot the crystal the room offers, but only once. Crystal caves, all unbreakable spawners are removed, added ambush spawners in every crystal that contains vault ores. So there's no static danger in a crystal room anymore. It's just the one crystal that will have gems in it, or every crystal that has gems in it, just has a spawner now and then it'll be away. Pretty sick. Um, and then Dragon Lair removed all but one central unbreakable spawner. Maybe this will actually make it playable. I also don't know if I'm going to be lagging at all if I go in or whatever. But, yeah. Um, so that'll be interesting to go into. We don't have to just dive out of rooms that we don't like anymore. And then rework several talents costs. Whatever, it's like later stuff. We'll worry about it then. Second part of patch notes. Creepers do spawn, but not in challenge rooms, just to make that clear. Yeah, it, it said specifically challenge rooms. Skeletons is straight chance to spawn in with the bows now 8%, down from 20. Vault dwarves' movement speed range reduced from 90 to 
or from 90 to 110 percent to 90 to 104 percent so it's slower now Powdered Stone no longer spawns in the Winter Vaults before level 10. I think they had talked about this since, like, day two. Up to text for raw Magnetite. Pickering can now no longer break Vault Ores or Coin Stacks. <laughs> so, the, the, the way that this went was, I messaged uh, the Discord and said, Hey, uh, is it intentional that the Pickering can mine... Uh, <laughs> That the picker and can mine coin structures, and Isco was like, "Haha, no." Straight face emoji, <laughs> and I told him, "Yeah, so I, uh, <laughs> I, I may or may not have tested this on a dragon room that I went into from a vault." And Isco was like, "Okay, all right. Um, what was he? What did he say?" Yeah, so uh. I told him I went to a dragon room today and it felt like the mechanic was unintentional and he was like, yeah, that's not supposed to be a thing. Uh, and also pick ranks are supposed to be more expensive in general anyway. Um, and I told him like, oh no, it's fine. You know, I'll just chuck out all the gold that I got from it. It's not really that big of a deal. And we kind of like went off on our way. I, I, the conversation stopped for a little bit and I'm like, all right, so I'll just chuck out all the gold that I got and chuck it out to just like a little cheese that I had, right? I still got a little bit of experience from it too. But I'll, I'll throw away all the gold, so, you know, because I would have been grossly outbalanced. That's what Iskale said. It's like, oh, you're probably, like, imbalancedly rich at the moment, right? And I'm like, nah, it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'm not going to, like, go through that entire room and mine up everything. And then, <laughs> 25 minutes later, Iskale tags me in a reply and says, Wait, Pete, you found, in bold letters, two dragon rooms? <laughs> And this one, I'm like, uh, fuck. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> At that point, I can't really, like, fall back on the... And I'm like, hey, yeah, so I got, like, 30 gold. I'm throwing it all away now. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> So I've already, uh, I've already discarded all of the gold for, that I had distributed. I went through the VOD and uh, I just left, like... Some of the bronze that was left in here that I had gotten naturally, because I did get a little bit naturally from the vault. So I left like a little bit in here. Uh, the vault, all this stuff, the forge doesn't have any gold. My backpack or my shulker box only has the amount of gold that I came in with before the run. So none of it's still here. We chucked it all. It was a good time, but hey, that's what Alpha's for. But yeah, Iskale did make it so the Pickering can now no longer break vault ores or coin stacks because he did send me an image of what I did to the crystal room. <laughs> Now, mind you, it kind of had to be done because the crystal room hadn't been adjusted at that point. They hadn't made the change with the spawners. Crystal rooms were just fucking death sentences. But also, towering up in a wall and then pickeranging the room from a distance. Iskel had a problem with us towering up two blocks in front of a spawner. I don't... I'm not against the decision... So yeah, pickerangs can be can still be used in a vault. Uh, they can break blocks, stuff like that, but they just can't break ores. They can't break ores, coin stacks, chests, or spawners. So they can't really be used for objectives because, let's be honest, if you were watching my last run through, the way the vaults are built in season three, almost any time that I used a pickerang, it was, it felt so unintentional. They seem useless now. Well, that's kind of the way the vaults are designed now. Because in Season 2, they made sense with the vault layouts. But like, okay, so you have those little coin or those little ore deposits hanging from the ceiling with a spawner there. So using a pickering on just makes the spawner pointless. It, it just negates the entire purpose of it being up there. Using a pickering on the gold piles makes that challenge down there void. Using a pickering in the crystal room makes the spawners in the room void. They're not really built for pickering use at the moment so the pickerings are still a thing you can still craft them they're a little tweaked now slightly i think he said this isn't supposed to be there but it's supposed to be i don't know if it's supposed to be something else but i still got mine until i die that is past level 10 but yeah <laughs> so yeah these aren't that major of a thing which is fine because i don't know using one just like i said it felt cheap so I get it. I, I get it. I'm still happy to have gotten one in the first place and used it, but after using it for a little bit, it felt cheap.
Change some recipes in order to make gear crafting more viable early game. Change vault recipe for vault ingots to be nine vault nuggets, previous eight plus one netherite ingot. Change vault recipe for vault nugget to be nine vault dust, previously eight dust and one diamond. So this means that for crafting vault ingots, you now no longer need netherite and diamond. That's an extremely big overhaul. Good morning, Pete. Time has passed quickly. It's already been 16 months. Still love this stream and the lovely chat members very much, PZHH. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. Thank you very much for the 16, Abby. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Damon Arcane, thank you very much for the 18. Yo, mate, thank you very much for the 18. Thank you guys. Appreciate that one a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, update a recipe for gear piece in the Vault Forge. Lower gold required from 2 to 1. Add a requirement of 1 netherite ingot and 5 diamonds. So this kind of balances out the... The fact that you're not using stuff anymore here, because this would have been like it's got something around like 16 netherite and 50 diamonds or something crazy. I don't remember what the math is, but yeah, anyway. And then change recipe for Voltorite ingot, one chromatic iron ingot instead of chromatic steel ingot. Nice, cool. Okay, good. Spirit extractor got fixed. Scavenger objective reduced for low level 20. Great. Due to the idea of duping items, so a co-op vault dupe thing's been fixed, and then added. I love this. I'm so happy. Iskel told me this specifically today when uh, we were in a call for MCL. Added recipes for every individual choice flask. If you don't remember, I when I was first talking about like understanding the skills and stuff, because I'm like, oh, you can unlearn skills. That's fucking sick. But then I realized that you don't do that with specializations. I was like, why is that not a thing? Because back in Season 2 with Choice Flask, you were basically punished for trying out different builds. And at a point, you would just be prevented from changing builds whatsoever. Because if you didn't get a Choice Flask for Heal or Vein Miner or whatever the shit, you were just stuck with it. And it was a sucky mechanic because it was entirely RNG-based. And I'm like, if we're doing unlearning for talents, that should stay the same with these. I haven't taken a look at the recipe. Let's see. Oh. That's... Oh, 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 okay, oh, okay, oh, okay. Utotic Mass? Interesting. Ghost Walk is not a recipe. Alright, so they missed Ghost Walk. I'll probably tell them about that. Okay. Okay. Execute doesn't have a recipe? Interesting. Summon Eternal is never recipe. Hunter, Farmer, Mana Shield is never recipe, and Taunt doesn't. Why do some of these not have recipes? Oh, do they not have? Wait. Oh. Oh, they're just legacy items then. Oh, I understand. I understand. So those those don't have specs. Mana Shield doesn't have a spec. Taunt doesn't have a spec. Wait. Oh, well, it's only- if it only has one- Wait. No, that- That's wrong. Because if Taunt has a spec for fear, which a lot of people have right now, shouldn't he be able to just spec back into basic Taunt? Taunt actually- So they-, they yeah, okay, then that one should have it at the very least. Mana Shield doesn't need it, Execute doesn't need it, Ghost Wall. Okay, so they just missed Taunt then. Okay, that's that's fine. I guess I'll forgive them, but only this once. Still, extremely cool change. Thank you, Iskal and the team, for changing that. I love that. I'm glad that they're making class selection and trying out different abilities much more controlled by the player now. Very, very pog. Very sick. I love it. Still got to spend a little bit of spec out of it, but at least it's constant now. Thank God. I love that change. Favorite thing. Fix skeletons, damage outside of the vaults. This is actually in huge. They probably only, they now only do like one heart. Uh, fix the bug causing zombies and husks to occasionally spawn in with a weapon. Keck. Fix the bug where some new mobs gave wrong amounts of soul shards. Scavenger vaults now correctly complete the objective individually, also in a co-op vault. Meaning a player that completes their goals will be teleported back to the overworld and can claim the reward crate immediately on completion. You don't have to wait for other people. Scavenger goals now correctly disappear when completed. Fix the bug causing all mobs to have a 100% drop chance to their scab mob essence. Very cool. Fix the bug that caused items not to render in in the spirit extractor. Fix the caution blocks. Bleb. Now properly dropping themselves when broken. And then colossal chests can no longer be bigger than 5x5x5. Five by five by five. I thought that the colossal chests were fine as is. Got milk? Alright. Do your work. Oh my god, you do. 
Furious. Oh, 20% mob damage? Eey. That is actually, though, a really easy scav. Or at least it seems not too bad. The only... <laughs> All right. New theme, by the way, too. New theme for this. And you better believe, that, especially with Furious, that I am going to take my time with this. Has someone figured out a better setup by far, uh, by now? Are people just gonna be Pepe W-ing? Like, oh, he's doing this shit again. Nice, nice 3x3 three three setup, you idiot streamer. Oh yeah, man, all those mobs that are gonna come raining down on you. This purple part of- bro, <laughs> why is the vault wet? Lucky vault. Amethyst rain? Chocolate rain. So how'd I do this? I mean, it was something like... Yeah, do me a favor. You go there. Oh! <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Why is it that color? What? Why did they make the liquid that color? I have a problem with that! <laughs> now we know how the devs get through the late nights of patch <laughs> patching. <laughs> oh no, man. Hey man, I love you. This many dollars worth. Long. <laughs> Secured the 10 and the apology. Thank you, problematic. Appreciate you. <laughs> Um, how did I do this before with the setup and everything? I don't remember. Hold on a second. How did I, like, make sure that the water would be cupped in properly so I could build? I don't remember my setup. This is an issue. I don't remember what my setup was. You'd think of all people to remember the setup that I would remember the setup, and somehow I don't. I think this was my setup, though. Just doing this and being able to quickly evac out. What the?! Um, all right. Ooh! Untouched, unscathed, minus five minutes. <laughs> Goodbye. All right, vaulting time. Little west facing vault action? Hey, spider. Oh, hey, spiders. Furious spiders, get off of me. What are you? Oh, gems. Very cool. Oh my god, and I took the walks of Holland to get there. Incredible, thank you. Alright, I'll take the Laramar and be on my way, I guess, then. This looks like a... This looks very much like a crystal room, and it's probably just the Amethyst, like the extreme amount of Amethyst. But I love it, man. You could probably get a bunch of... Well, I guess these are different kinds of crystals, so you couldn't actually get, like, the Amethyst that you would need for the, um... Well, maybe you could. I don't know, I've barely been through the vault. Still, this is a very cool build. I love... Ooh! Little cheeky mob killing action? Can I get some spawner boys? I was hoping that was gonna be an ambush spawner. That would have been really nice. Thanks for the raffle tickets. I hate my life. I'm so sorry that I suck as a streamer. You guys deserve significantly better. Oh my god! Bro, they cease moving entirely! Watch this! Hey! Stop moving! <laughs> Wait a minute, this is incredible! Oh my god, this is not staying in the game! <laughs> oh, my inventory is blasted right now. Yo, Mephlet! 
Wait, thank you so much. I appreciate that an absolute ton. Thank you, thank you. Give me the Laramar Aurora back. Don't comment on it. Shimmer already left. He needs a reminder that he left the Larry. Yo, let me let me tell you something, all right? You didn't want to hear about this, but Larry ain't doing so hot these days. Okay? Give him a call. Thank you, Mephila, for the 20 gifted subs. It's incredibly generous of you. How you doing? I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Very, very much. Ever so kind. How is this the end of the vault already? I've gone through two rooms. Whoa! Imagine getting slowed. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Hey guys, enjoy enjoy this strategy while we have it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I think it's quite good personally. But that's just me. That drop down though kind of terrified me a little bit, I'll be honest with you. So we need black mob essence, blood vials, and then Yeah, just rip pages. Six of those. So we gotta get some we gotta loot through a ton of regular chests. And also I think black mob essence. I think that is the more common of the, uh, or, sorry, the most rare of the drops? Oh, dear. <laughs> it's good. It's, it's good. Does this slow you guys down, too? Oh, can you not get sh Oh, no, you can. What's- what mob is that? What mob is that? Stoneling? That does not sound like a stoneling at all. Is it actually? said in your subtitles? Oh shit, really? Interesting. Alright, inventory's looking a little flush. Oh, bacon squat. Lead lantern. I thought that was a player or something. Thank you very much the, uh, thank you for that. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, first of all, I've ran in a while. I'm a little, uh, I'm a little slow with things at the moment. I'm a little sticky what I'm doing, and I apologize. This is weird. I'm not actually breaking, like, all the spawners that I'm coming across. I'm, like, looting and then leaving. What strange behavior for me. Anyway, I need to go one south to get back home. I'm gonna try and keep a remembering of that. Like, I'm one south away from the exit. It's kind of nice to know. One direction south. Hello, friend. What do you have for me? More ores? Seems like there's a lot of these little ore deposits in this vault. This thing looks so good. I love it. This looks great, yeah. Uh, I need to get more comfortable with vein mining. I have vein miner for a reason, and that turned out to not be great. Ouch. Omega. You need rip pages, there's one inside the shulker. Okay. That is true, not false. And we're spawner. Woo, baby. 
Do I have a sound off or something that the ambush spawner normally makes? Goodbye. Small boy. Ah, nice burger. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Well, I got 14 minutes. I have not done a lot of looting this fault. Oh, hello. I wonder how you got altered, if at all. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. I thought this was the uh, the other room. It's a different form of the uh, the vendor room. Oh, shit. I don't know if I've chest play for three. Uh, I make jewel for four. Huh? I don't think I have four gold. I'm pretty sure I don't have four gold. What's my income looking like at the moment? Am I broke? What do I got? I do have four gold, but that's a lot. What does the, the type of gem uh, jewel do? Ham I don't care enough for that. I'm not going to spend all my money on that right now. I can add a sake of a pick, but I don't know. Sparkling jewel for two? Sparkling... Wait, is it just spark? Sparking jewel. Quick? What does quick do? Oh, I wish I knew. Hi, Zine. How are you, King? Yo, Zine, next time you hop on, let's run some vaults. Genuinely, like, hit me up next time you're coming on. Let's run some vaults together. I'm down to fuck around and find out. You know what I'm I mean? Currently listening to a top 13 chatter with 18,446 Ace probably? Messages, chatting one day, I'll win a raffle Do I want to spend two gold? I'm just kind of looking around right now. Do I want to spend two gold on... Jar. Candy 7. Neat. I can't put it back down. <laughs> probably Wednesday? Wait, Abe. Wait, Abe. Pitch. Wait, hold, pause. What if we try opt? Co op? What's the word for three three people on a yeah, we co op opt? Co co opt? But what if? No, that's an inappropriate term. I was told in school not to say that out loud. I don't think I want to buy this right now. I'm gonna be honest, I've seen- I've seen some other- This is cool. Oh, this is sick. Dude, you guys- I think there's gonna be maybe two people in this stream at the abs- I know I'm losing ball time. There's gonna be two people in this stream at the absolute most that are gonna understand what I'm saying, but this wall, this room, reminds me of one of the levels in the fucking Rugrats PC game. I- I don't- I don't remember if it was Rugrats All Grown Up. There was a PC game for it. No, no, no. I'll find it. I will find... I will find a clip of the, the game and show you because it was a very prominent connection. I hate that I know what you're talking about. Why? It was such a good game. It was difficult as shit, too. Ah! Two of those? Oh, by the way, uh, Abe and Zine, do you guys want to see my strat? It's gonna get, uh, <laughs> nerfed in a day? <laughs> Watch this. Stop moving! <laughs> hey, wait, 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 I'm gonna fucking die. Oh, I didn't mean it. Hey, stop moving. <laughs> wait, I'm gonna die to the skeleton hole. Rampage spawners are scary. Leave me alone. No more movement for you, bro. I'm probably gonna get ganked by this. It's fine. Never mind. What are you doing to lock them down? I have a quiver with a tipped slowness four arrows. The tipped arrows have not been too hot of a topic. 
And I think I understand why. Evening. Should you try to grab some of the amethyst crystals that are on the floors and walls? Um, I think they are different or not fully grown. I don't believe that they are like the actual crystals that you use for altars. I could be wrong entirely, but I think that... Oh, there's a coin pile here. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Ambush spawner or is it just three spawn? If I get two blood vials from this, I'm going to be a little upset, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> what the? Wait, stop that. Ouch. I don't want to drink milk! Stop hurting me. Did you hear about my insane vault today? I think I was watching during it? Or like, I think I was watching when... I might have been on the server? I don't know. I, I I think I saw it. But then I heard like someone walked in and killed you <laughs> or something like that. Ouch. Hey, bugger off, bud. Or was there a better vault that you actually like got loot out of? Ooh, thank you. Another red page, a little bit of dusticles. Had two times to get a lucky vault with no negative modifiers. Did you make it out alive with a loot? I'm a spawner. I'm on low HP. I'm going to be getting out of here. Uh, no, Zina, I haven't opened a treasure room door yet. I don't know if anybody's opened a treasure room door yet. How the hell do you get out of this room? Bro, I'm getting up. I've got myself lost. Ryan invited himself in and died and resulted in me dying. Oh my, wait a minute. So the, I mean, I guess that makes sense. But the thing that they have now where co-op kills everybody, that takes effect if someone joins the vault late. That's wild. <laughs> oh man. Whoa. So many mobs around me. His face when he died was priceless. I'm gonna have to find a clip. Oh, it's this room. So they changed... Something, maybe, probably. I don't know what they changed, but I hate this room. <laughs> it's like only compressed blocks. I think it's... Like ambush spawners inside each one of them or something like that now? I don't know. It's too many mobs for me. I'm heading back. I got some good experience from killing that skelly earlier. I'm going to get out of this vault safely. Thank you. Yeah, I'm surprised that villagers trade in such a high quantity with tipped arrows. Because I think one batch of trades for a villager gives you like 48 arrows. It's nuts. We needed to go south, I think, right? I want to test this because I'm pretty sure I'm correct in that. If I go south from here, this should lead back to the rooms that I was going down. Unless it was north. Yeah. Was this the one? Yeah, it was. Oh yeah, this room was, uh, <laughs> right. Alright, right, I should not be here. <laughs> Forgot this room was not kind to me. Alright, so we'll have to head one north to get home. What's up, Hellfire? Good morning, good morning. Possibly, maybe. That's my entrance? Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, I know. Um, separate chests and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I don't see too much going on here. I do kind of want to take a look at this. I'm not recovering my health fast enough right now.
Can you call the mobs in that room? And is there then just the looter? How does that room work when you roll mobs? Well, that's the challenge behind it. It's a 50-50. I don't know if it's actually 50-50 in odds. But you either roll uh, an Omega room down there that's just filled with loot and there are no mobs in the vault. Or in that room specifically. Or you roll mobs and you have to evac out. The challenge comes from if you roll mobs, you can very easily get killed. So you kind of have to make sure that doesn't happen. That's why I've got my absolutely obscene but very good working uh, system for getting in and out of those safely. It takes a little bit of prep, but it gets you safe out of it. Xena Nib, I don't know if you guys have seen it. I'll show it to you in a second. I'm going to go into one more room and then evac back out and I'll kind of like pass by it. But the premise is that um, instead of just digging down in a one by one and using water to get back up, you use a three by three, but instead you first case yourself like three blocks high in a three by three cube. And then you pour water down in kind of like a, a cup that then pours down uh, underneath. So you can very quickly get back up from the bottom, kind of like just regular water would. And then you have like this three tall wall. So mobs can't spawn on top of you and like drop down on you. I could probably like practice it a little bit and get faster at it. I don't know if there's a better way. It's kind of what I came up with on day one. But so far, whenever mobs have been, whenever it's been trapped. Ooh, nice little... Oh, the ammo spawner to end off the vault! Black mob essence as well! Oh, you got a weapon, bud! I don't actually know if you do more damage as a result of that, but I think you do. Jesus. Oh, that's two black mob essence. Wait a minute, give me that. That's three! Damn, if I drop- if I could get blood vials from these coins? Unfortunate. Pick up everything. All right, we got a skadoodle. I gotta get around. It is pretty cool that you can kind of go a little bit deeper into the vaults without a fear of losing everything just because of the way that Beginner's Grace works. It's nice no matter how good you are at vaulting. Like, it's a really, really good change. Zine, I don't know what discussion you had with this gal, but <laughs> I think the whole server is thanking you right now, Chief. Yeah, it's a setup to some degree. So you pour water here, and then, yeah. I don't know, screen captures. <laughs> I can't explain. I gotta go. There's too many mobs. Hey, vault portal. <laughs> How? <laughs> How did I get 4,400 XP? Holy shit. I know I killed a... Elite, but where'd the other experience come from? God damn. I got more experience in this than I did when I mined the gold piles. What's up, Iskel? How's it going? And we got the homies coming into this hour, huh? I need to go live with this time more often. You guys are getting some furious. 570 for wooden crates. So not a lot from crates. 120 from coin piles. 54 from Laramar. What? I know I said they buffed it. I didn't think they buffed it that much. Iskow, is that value correct? <laughs> Damn, Elite Skeleton lost to a crossbow. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it was only a thousand before. It was like a thousand for that and 800 for other stuff.
Hey, Zine, the way that I think about it is, how do you make meat more tender? You gotta pound that shit a little bit, you know what I mean? It's not a bad thing necessarily, you're just tenderizing the, the conversation. So here's the thing that I was thinking, because we've already messed around with the Vault Forge once, and it did get the change or whatever for Vault Alloy and Gold and Diamond and Netherite, so it's cheaper now. Um... We made one chest plate because I needed a chest plate at the time and I just wanted to send one thing because everything costs the same except for... Oh. Wait, idols now cost the same as well too. Is that intended? Because idols before were double the cost of everything else, but now they're the same. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about... Because I don't know. The way that this works for efficiency is the more you craft, the better stuff you get. And I was thinking I instead of it being streamer. viable for gear... I feel like we should just hard focus down on weaponry, right? Just getting better weapons overall rather than... Because you could... We would need to split up our proficiency between four of these, right? To really get like a full suit benefit. But yeah, I think... I think doing Vault Axe on this and just kind of ramping this up like crazy would be a pretty decent idea. I don't know if I'm SD is over shield or idle. And I prefer an Axe over sword just because of the raw damage output of this. I mostly, like, pretend... I mostly, uh, I don't know, I said pretend. Aim to go for, like, crits and stuff. So, yeah, I think we'll run with this. So, we need nine vault alloys, one vault gold, five diamond, and one netherite, I get. Okay. It's reasonable. Vault essence. We got the netherite. And what was the last thing? Chromatic steel. Okay, let's take a little look-ski at this guy, huh? Well, we'll keep this for now. So the Vault Recycler... How do you work? Not a lot of documentation there, huh, bud? What if I just took a little piece of gear, just a scrappy little level 3 helmet, and just pop this sucker in and see if anything happens? Oh. So you get Vault Scrap and a Wild Focus. Can be used to modify... Okay. Interesting. Put stuff in, get stuff out. Oh my god, that's how the world works. Okay, neat. And then, yeah, Vault Scrap can be made into Vault Writing. It's the same way as before in Season 2. But then I Scrap, Chromatic Iron, and the Paint Eye Gems. Fortune 3, Fortune 4, it's active. Holy fuck. Now, I'm not one to talk about a small sample size, but I would like to question if any other people on the server have tested Fortune 1 vein mining before. <laughs> you know, good old Larry Boy is really good at this whole debugging thing, as we've seen in the past. <laughs> Surely. Yes! Okay, it's like still incredibly bad, but it's fine to some degree, maybe. Um, and I, Vault Scrap, Nether Ice Scrap, and Chromatic Iron. I need a little bit of smelting job on here. Let's do two of them at the least. Let's just do two for right now. Because then I can take these and combine them with chromatic steel and make the alloys. That's not what I meant to do at all. I'm not using my scroll wheel. Damn, man. Four from four? I mean... Okay, all of this for an axe, huh? Throw me down on that, and then what's the last thing I need? Cheeky bit of vault gold, it's understandable. Uh, that's why I left this over here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I really, I've thought about this a little bit, and I do think that if we're going to level up anything in the vault forge, then honing in on a weapon is probably the best choice. I know shields are the rarest thing in the game, 
And they're nice, don't get me wrong, but I think a weapon, we can have a little bit more fun with that. Idols are probably cool too. I've got a shield, I'm chilling with that. I think this is good. Okay. Yeah. Center, bud. Level 8, crafted by pizza, roll novice. Understandable. And that brought my proficient... Yeah, we'll need to craft a good few of those, huh? Why is everyone going for axes instead of swords? Axes deal a lot of damage and crit hits make me happy. It's still a common. It's at least a common. Empty suffix as well. Not bad. 12.5 damage. Durability is so really good. Attack speed is decent. Halfway. Attack damage is more than average. That's not bad. Spiteful is... Is that undead mobs? No, no, no. Sorry. Stop, talk stop typing. <laughs> no, you idiot. Holy is undead mobs. Spiteful is like Bane. Spiteful is Bane and like spiders, right? Or is that illagers and pillagers and stuff? Because it was Spiteful, Holy, and what was the third one? Spiteful's Illagers. Oh, is there actually a one called Baneful? Oh, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> All right, let's do some work on you, yeah? So I'm not really too down. The Healing Cloud... It's a tier one. I think I'm just going to do a little reforge on the prefix suffix. Okay. Do I just not have enough bronze? Oh, I just don't have enough bronze. I was like, why did you lock me out? Why can I not do it anymore? That's not awful. I'm going to be honest. I really just want to reroll until I get Shaney again. I'm just going to reroll until I get chaining. Yeah, baby! Huge! Okay, cool. And give me my last, uh, let me see what I get off this. Okay, so attack speed and poison cloud. Poison cloud's kind of eh. I don't know. I, I haven't really liked the poison cloud that my main axis had. I haven't really seen it doing that much. 5% attack speed. It's like not really that big of a deal. But the two chaining is nice, though. Two chaining is pretty good. It's going to be weaker than this by 2.5 damage. Attack speed, I want to say, is probably about the same, if not a little faster. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit faster. So it's a little bit weaker, but it can hit two mobs additionally instead of one. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right. I'm not going to reroll. I could get more attack damage, but I'm going to keep that plus two chaining and be pretty content with that for right now. Look at stat screen. Oh, I mean for like... Okay, so DPS that we have on here. 17.4 damage. And then holding this. 15. So you trade off like individual killing for like more... A lot of more mobs. Which is really nice because of the ambush spawners now. So yeah. We'll see how this goes. Any smilers? This is good. Empty jar from Ornate and Red Scroll from Gilded. Seems solid. Okay. We are going west. Little west facing vault. Oh, we have living in this. Oh, interesting. Okay. Little living chest in this vault. I'm down with it. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, so we only need... <laughs> Everything that we need is not from the living chest. That's fine, though. Yeah, living chest and a living vault. Very cool. And the lucky is plus 5% item rarity, and I also have plus 13% item rarity. I don't know if that is multiplicative off of the year that I already have on. 
or how that works exactly. Like if it turns to 18% or if it's 5% off of the 13. I'm assuming it's probably 18. I don't know why I'm looting regular stuff, but I mean, I can still get good things from here, so why not? Yeah, though, please. Are those a single living chest up there? I want to assume that to be the case. Oh, God. Whoa! Big man, watch out. Hey, stop that. Oh, some gold up here. Very cool. It's a good amount of gold on the floor. It's a huge pile. I'm with it, I'm with it, I like it. Now let's see what was over here. Oh! Oh my god! All of you, stop moving. Or maybe just you. Oh. Are you not a- what the hell are- what are you then? I thought I was an ambush spawner. Is it just a regular spawner and I'm just getting extremely unlucky with the amount of mobs? Oh, spawner's in the f <laughs> In the banners! I don't even see it! This surely is- this surely is doing this for content. <laughs> oh, shit. Ouch. Oh, a slowness cloud from the, uh... Oh my god! <laughs> Lost the banners. Calm down right now. Leave me alone. Get some good money after spending a bit. This is a nice uh, series of rooms for the vault. Oh boy. I shot keeping the attack up. Seem way too many people run away from spawns. I mean, if you run away from spawns, you literally just don't get loot. I I love the magnet. It's kind of annoying sometimes not being able to like toggle it off. I don't know. Like, it's nice, but at the same time, also, I don't know. I got a bunch of junk in my inventory that I just don't care about. I don't really want to fill my shulkers, but here I am. My streamer's an idiot. Killing mobs is also good for experience, too. So, you know, give them a little crunch and then be on our way. Nice room. <laughs> I need that. I really do, though. How much purple do I have? Oh, I've already got five. Nice. They suck on this. Pretty nice. There's not a whole heck of a lot going on here. But somehow I'm running into every coin pile that this vault has ever generated. Check Dura question mark? What do you mean check Dura? I can see the durability. I can see the durability. When you water bucket, do you hold or spam right click? Uh, I right click when I get on the ground. Like, I time my right click. I don't spam. I don't hold. I just right click um, when I hit the ground. Or, like, when I'm on the one block from the ground. 
if you hold, the water bug trick isn't going to work because the tick isn't going to proc when you land. So you're just going to take damage because the water's not going to dispense at the right time. And spamming, I think, also does the same thing. I don't actually know because I don't do it that way, but yeah. No living chest yet? We found one. This looks like an Omega room. It's so trippy. Wow, it's a lot of... It's so trippy because I'm so used to how Omega rooms, some Omega rooms at least, looked like in... Season 2, where if you would go into... Or you'd run through a hallway and hit a... Jesus. You'd hit a room. Scaly Bone Shard. If it was like super empty looking when you were running up to it, it was most likely like an X mark or maybe even sometimes a mine room. I don't know if it would be a mine room, but I don't know. You you know what I mean. Omega rooms just looked very hollow compared to other rooms. And so on here with the gamma change and the fog and everything, <laughs> it makes me think that like a bunch of rooms are just going to open up to be Omega rooms. I'm the one debating myself at the end of the day. I do like that, uh... I do like that room, though. Sweet five ads. Uh, thank you for your on-time message. Your PayPal delivery of $3 will be in the mail. Give me two business days. Empty jars! Oh! The double whammy! Damn it, I really want to complete this scab now. I real Oh, man. I need to find a whole other ornate section, though. And it's a living vault. Oh, boy. All right, we went north, so I need to go south. Just keep an eye at a reminder of that for me, chat. This is why I say that it looks like... This is what I mean. This is the room. <laughs> They look hollow, and then it's... Oh, my God, man. All right, hold on, hold on, Um, Let's do the setup. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. Hey, Em. How's it going? How are you? How are you? What the ghost box? What the? I'm breaking too fast for my own good. Just go down. It's not trapped. I promise. So if I keep doing this, is this a test of our trust for each other? Because, like, I don't want this to come off that way. I'm just an anxious person, you know? It's not that I don't trust you. It's just... You know. No, 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 no. But it's but it's not that. It, it Like, it is, but it isn't. I promise it's not what... I promise it's not what I mean. You have to believe me. I trust in you, man. I trust in you, man. What the hell? Oh, for two on the X mark rooms of the day. Damn, the amount of empty jars we would have gotten from that room. It's okay. We'll find another. Hope you. Oh, it already broke. Well, that was just not nice. I don't know. I don't really care. What do you have to offer? I don't know. I don't want to deal with you. I didn't really 
really see an all too too much. I don't need to be here. I'm gonna complete the scav, or at least just get loot from here. I don't wanna be I don't wanna be looting regular chests. I need to get gilded and ornates. And then just livings in general. That's nice. So is my full inventory. Dear God, go away from me. Or living chests? They're a special type of chest. Rarer than the standard chests that give a specific loot table of items in them. Knowledge essence is a common one. Burger items are a common one. See a good few in here. Damn. Nothing but the goods in that one. Ooh, my spawner. Or altar. Dungeon question mark? Or what are you? Oh, yep. Yeah. Ornate. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Empty jar. Yes. Okay. All right. There, there's a chance. There is a chance. Dude, kind of want this, though. Six kills. I'm working on a donut, kind of at the moment. It's also an ambush spawner. That's kind of crazy. Oh, this guy just did the juice on me. Oh, that was sick. Okay, cool. Alright, we out. Uh, wherever that would be. I think I dropped down from somewhere. Already got you. Just need gilded. Just need gilded. My mana up. I need to be looking for chests. Nope. I wish I didn't spawn you just then. Heck. Open rooms. Good for locating. I see that living down there. I'm not gonna prio it. Like, it's still good, don't get me wrong, right? Just not gonna go all the way down there for it. Alright, we're going north. Uh, I kind of want that Benetite up there. I also don't know if I want to take the time to stack up right now. Doing a little scan, see if there's any other ores. I don't see any. Black Opal! Actually, massive pickup. It's the first Black Opal I've gotten. Let's go, baby! Yes, sir. Alright, sick. That's huge. Stragglers in here. A lot of open space, a lot of open spawners. Oh boy, it's gonna get busy down here.
Forty durability. Nearly time to whip out the new guy. Nearly time to give a new guy uh, an initiation. Single gilded. So it's right here. Uh, I thought I saw something interesting. I thought I saw something. I didn't though. I want to say it's probably too many gildeds. That's a stupid thing to say. I'm just not going to go all the way up. I feel like it would take too much time. Might be a silly thing to not do, but I'm just going to go into another room. You know what would be an insane room? Would be the western room. Western room, I think, has a really good concentration of gildeds. At least a lot of options for gilded and others. Other varieties. See you down there. Yeah, just unfortunate kind of being split off. Like, because I want to get the living stuff for progression and leveling, right? But then I also want to get the scavenger stuff. Scavenger is arguably more important. What are you? 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 Oh, what the hell, man? I don't need... Okay, you know what? Oh, my God. Just get another X mark, man. This will probably be what ends the vault. I don't think I'm going to complete the scab. I'm going to attempt this. Because I probably have a higher shot of doing- getting this than... Oh, Jesus, brother. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go away. Thank you. Let me get to work. Surely it doesn't fail. Where's the center? Surely it doesn't fail <laughs> three times out of three. Dig straight down? That's an easy way to get me killed. I'm good. Thank you, though. I don't have taunts. I've seen how quickly mobs can drop just from going straight down. I'm good. I'll take my extra minute to ensure my life. Thank you. Wuss. Hey, I'm what I eat. Wait. Oh boy. Water needs to clear. It's just not the X mark day, you know? <laughs> it's just not the day for X marks. At all. Wait! Oh my fucking god, I'm, I'm gonna. Bro. Nah, man! Are you kidding? Ah, what the hell? I got the scroll! I have everything! But there's no objective! Shit! I have four minutes! I still gotta leave? And I have to go north more because it's a dead end? I need to find a damn- This is the dead end completely! This vault sucks! I gotta get this scab curry, and I gotta get back out! Bro, Kiwi's had like two seconds. I don't have the, the thing. Next room, surely. Otherwise, I'm, I don't know, man. I'm gonna risk death, I think. God 
Damn it. So we need to go south like three, right? That's how we get back home? That's how we get back home, yeah. How have I not seen a collection thing in all of this? No, I saw one- wait a minute! No, wait wait! Fuck! I saw one, like, really close to spawn. That's how I got rid of the stuff- No, I'm going back! Hold on, I'm gonna go back to where spawn was. There was a collection thing, like, relatively nearby. Yeah, there was a collection thing, like, right nearby. I gotta go south, um... One more time, I think, from this, and then we're down the line. Forgot about Dash. Quality backseat? Yeah, this is the, uh, this is the way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's the port- that, is that the portal? That's the portal. Okay. It's literally dead center from here. But does the party ever stop soon? It wasn't here. It was here, I think. Yes! Yeah! Wait, it just teleports you back? Wait, I thought that you needed to actually, like, go to the exit. Did I have a misunderstanding? Yeah, I must have a misunderstanding. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, no, we're good! Oh, that ain't bad. Oh, that ain't bad. Hey, we did that and we... Failed two X marks and got some living crates. It was a good combination of things. That is the first vault that I've completed. So that feels pretty sick. Uh, 7,300 experience. 2,100 from chess. 600 from mine blocks. 600 from mobs unalived. And 4k from the objective completion. Huge, man. What a good vault. God damn it. We got like a ton of experience as well from all the burger supplies. Damn, man. Hey. Give me that speed too. Where are you at? Or give me that speed. Yeah, baby. Oh, my FOV. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn down and make FOV off, I think. Maybe think about it. If you didn't fail the X marks, you probably wouldn't have had enough time. <laughs> True. All right. I've never seen. I've actually somehow managed to avoid any streams of people opening collective crates. So I have no idea what these look like. Oh, uh, wait. Stand on top and press shift? Why make me twerk on my box, dude? Stop trolling me, man. It's but it's twelve twenty-four in the morning. Then the empty offhand, bro. What? <laughs> Esco, what is this? What have you done, and why do I love it? <laughs> I don't have any room. Hold on, my items are gonna despawn. <laughs> Give me a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on one sec. Oh, wait, wait, let me, um, let me get rid of you and you, and I don't care about the, whatever. We'll get more of that later, probably another time. Okay, hey, give me this stuff. Yeah, that's cool. It's got, like, a little beam over it, too. That's sick, man. I love this. So we got Scrappy plus boots, vault helmet, common plus vault chest plate, Scrappy plus leggings. We got some driftwood, some vault essence. We got a vault trinket. Hey, we thought it was cooler? No, this is sick. I love it. I just was confused. And we got a regret chunk as well, too. We got a trinket. Is that the first? Does this not come standard in every thing? Is this just like a random... Is it all random rolls? I don't even... I don't want to know. Dude, are you kidding me? What? Go 
Golden Burger! It's not like we needed the beginner's hand or whatever that was anyway. 50% vault experience, 16 uses. Not bad. So that's our first trinket. So if anyone doesn't know how this works, these are essentially the baubles and stuff that we have that we can equip to our player. We have a charm and a trinket slot. Charms and trinkets are both things that were added by... Um, so if I go into uh, the vault mod... Or is it just... Yeah, just through that. And we look over here, you can see the blues are charms and the reds are trinkets. So you can double up on them. And instead of them having durability, they have uses. So if you go into a vault, it doesn't matter how much time you spend in there. If you go into a vault while you have it equipped and you can't unequip it once you go into a vault with it. Once you exit the vault, that will subtract the use. So we have 16 vaults with plus 50% vault experience. Does it work on burgers or only vaults? Well, it's used in vaults. So yeah, I'm going to assume that burgers are not a part of that. Might join you on some Dota Rock, to be honest with you. <laughs> Where are my messages? I thought you said don't click on it when at the end! Did I read your message wrong? Don't shift click, shift right click with it in your hand. I didn't! First the twerking, and the, first the X mark, then the twerking, and now this. Abe, I don't know, how, we're getting off on the wrong foot, brother. Someone's broken, yeah? Okay. Are you able to eat burgers in the vault? I don't know, but it's... <laughs> you guys are trying to find every way around it. Um, it's talk... It's the 50% increase is for the, like... The vault credit stuff. When you see, like, plus 4,000 at the end of a vault, that's what it would increase. My burger! Unless you're talking about this. Oh, you're talking about this. Okay, so here you go. Now that we've unlocked it, we can craft it in the vault forge. 64 hamburgers? <laughs> I don't think you're meant to craft this in early game. I don't think this is an early game craft. Also a trinket scrap as well too, which... Um, I don't think anybody would be dumb enough to do right now, but yeah, this is definitely a more mid-game craft. Right plus, maybe? Oh, I saw that epic go by. Uh, four armor. Alright, compared to the four armor, two health, 13 item rarity. They're pretty on par. I mean, they're, they're about the same. Yeah, we don't have very good boots. I still like mine better, though. Oh, damn. Oh. We got 5 armor, 3 health, soulbound. 6 armor, 6% six thorn chance. 1400 durability? It's not bad. I lose a... I lose a heart and a half from it, though. Not sure, not sure. Well, let's save a comment for after. Maybe. Might, might hold on to it. No discovery either. That's a six armor helmet though. Compared to the three armor helmet that we have, it's epic. Three health, ten mana, thorn chance, and item quantity compared to two armor and item quantity. Low durability. I don't know if I'd be willing to get rid of the mana though. I know it's literally three armor more. That's a pretty significant deal. Yeah, 21. Bro, how? <laughs> 21 Savage, get out of my head, man. <laughs> 21 Savage emerging from his Pokeball. 21. The Believers do not take it home. Okay. So five armors max, seven mana is not bad. 
Crypt and suffixes are okay. Compared to, we got six armor, soulbound and thorns. That's five armor, seven mana, soulbound. None of these are really too big of improvements. The biggest improvement is the helmet, three extra armor. But is that worth losing the 10 additional mana that this gives in the health? Because even when I'm not fighting things, the 10 mana is really nice for just recovering from health and also using Hunter. Reroll the chest plate? Yeah, I could get like a 7 armor boy on this. That's the looting simulator chest plate there. So what do we have? Just six armor, basically. Item rarity and item quantity both stacked on. Do we have Thorn's chance? On anything else? We have 5% Thorns chance. We don't have Thorns damage at the moment. So wouldn't this enable Thorns then? If we have Thorns damage and Thorns chance? Or is it still based off zero? Pretty cool uh, transmog. Thorns chance and Thorns damage. I mean... Yeah, that's a good set. Yeah, maybe we keep it just for looting. Because what, that's 24% item rarity and 8% item quantity? That's not bad, you know? Uh, surprise raffle. That's a lot of entry, Jesus. Guy was here, punk. Oh my god, you were. Yes, so no, thank you very much for the 18. Appreciate that. And Brian Buggy, thank you for the 18 months as well, too. What the lag? Yo, Nightwolf. See you in the Gladiator Arena, boss. 105? Oh, God. I'll run through a couple of these. In a uh, yeah. First of all, with a little bit of speed. Let's run it up. Oh, my God. Good time to have speed. Um, all right. So, we're going east. Oh, no. See, here's the thing. I don't know about... Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know if we'll be partaking in... Ouch. I don't know if we'll be partaking in, um... Any boss killing this fault. <laughs> don't know if I'm, like, fully down for it, you know what I mean? I will be taking some coins, though. And Gil is actually incredibly important, too, because I need, like, a good amount of, um... Yeah, Vault Diamonds. Holy crap. If that's what they're gonna have in them? Oh, baby, I need to, I need a fast loot, man. Oh, the mod boxes as well, too. That contains some type of chest that's not basic, I believe. Ammo spotter? No, not quite. Oh dear. Yeah, baby. Oh! Hello, honey. Hello, my right time gal. <laughs> I just got a new axe. What the fuck is the bull trying to tell me? <laughs> Stop moving. Well, like I'll, most of you. Chaining. Oh, that is nice, man. Oh, yeah, that chaining is good. 
I just got a new weapon, man. This sucks. <laughs> Oh, you're talking so much about the weapon, why don't you fight some more guys? Still enough to kill most things with a two-hit crit, so that's good. Yeah, ball diamonds would be crazy loot. Because that could very well be what pushes us to actually be able to get a knowledge star and, uh... Yeah, actually be able to unlock a mod, maybe today. Could be big. Um, I think I will be taking the coins that are down here. Hello. Level 10 after this run, if I had my burger. <laughs> what the? That's a lot of boys. A lot of spawners going on here. So going for Vault Compass first? I think so. I think, I think yes. It just seems like, you know... Such a significant, such a significant thing to just know where to go. You know what I mean? I don't want to go for that right now. I have other things to be done. To know how to get back home at every point, not have to worry about coordinates and shit. That, that seems pretty good to me. All right, we went south, so we need to head north by one to get back home. But I mean, we can we can think about it. I know that we'll eventually want to unlock like backpacks and stuff, so we're gonna need to level in the pouches at some point. That's bombing night. Ah! How's my stuff already filled? You know what, man? It's the magnet. Honestly, I love it, but a magnet is really not ideal when I'm getting, like, this much clutter. Because all the clutter blocks just fall into my inventory and I hate it. Not really a big fan. Single chest down? No, it's not a single chest. And in fact, you can flip your hand over without turning your wrist. I found Satan's alt account. This is big news. The best try for running vaults just be the only one on the server? Are you talking about vault running or are you talking about viewership? <laughs> Wait, what, what do you mean by being the only one on the server being a strat? Lack of lag is nice. I'll be honest. Jesus. I am not getting the spawner before it spawns another wave, but I'm trying anyway because I'm a fool. Oh, we're good. Ah, okay, my dash does not go that high. Season 2 dash moment. Chad, it's your room! Guys, you made this! Oh my god. Oh 
Well, this is immediately a wreck. What the? Does that not work with shulkers? I'm confused. Mm, maybe I'll stand in the poison. Welcome back, Pay Knight. Please don't be mean to me this time. Wait. Don't know what to do. Getting my keybinds mixed up. Morning, Niskel. GM, GM. Wait a minute. Hmm. Thank you. Any more up here? Yeah, we got one more. I've seen a few of these this fault. Failing to fully understand how my stuff is already full, but I guess I've only emptied into a single one, so it makes sense. I just have a lot of different types. Oh boy. Getting some cash today. Loves her so much. It's a really nice room. Yeah. It's nice that I don't have to battle mobs like down here, unless obviously they come from like a trap chest. But yeah, with the new vaults, this room is really cool. I mean, it was always pretty good, but I think it's shown specifically for uh, like CRP runs back in season two, and that was mostly it. You wouldn't really ever go down to, like, just loot chests, typically. Because the amount of mobs that would be spawning around you and just the jaggedness of the floor. There's a lot of gold down here. Or a lot of, uh, ball currency. Not bad at all. Not bad at all! It's gonna be a good chunk of experience. I wish I had my burger. All right. Well, chat, thank you for the room. It's been a great time. Looking forward to seeing what you build next. That's a good amount of money. That's a good amount of coinage. Well, what a great time to be rich. <laughs> Double Omega Rooms by chance? Not bad. All right. What's up with the P luck? Dude, Iskal, I don't know if you were watching streams today. I've seen some crazy luck on the server today. Today's been nuts. Or I guess technically yesterday. Oh, wait a minute. Six iron and six glass item frames for free? For free? Bro, I get free anvils? What type of furnaces are these? Deep slate furnaces? Oh, these look like really cool. I don't care about them, but they look cool though. So what do you guys offer for me? Knowledge shard for seven silver? Not 
really worth it in my opinion. Knowledge charge is nine knowledge dust. I don't think that's worth the cost. But the, is that a tesseract? What is that? Nothing up here. Nothing down over here? Bro, is there? There's got to be like a bunch of different areas where they could be up here, right? Not just the one down there. There's plenty of space up here for stuff to be. I mean, I guess Omega chests are part of stuff that could be. He and his chat. That's you guys. No way. I've I've never met that man in my life. Was the only thing that this room had to offer was the one knowledge star down there? This room is buns, at least this instance of it. <laughs> what the hell? I see one chest floating up there. There was one knowledge star, and that's the entire room. The reason we haven't yet is because we don't have an alternative yet. We do with abilities, though, but you should don't want to anger people. But, oh, not star shard. <laughs> It was seven silver for one shard. That's a bit of a scam in my ass. I mean, yeah, like, I, I get it. The tipped arrows are strong as hell. That's not... That's not a surprise. Yeah, I mean, I'm still in the same agreement that I think some kind of ranged weaponry for the vaults would be a really, really good... Really, really cool addition. I think we've been pitching that for a while, but yeah, I mean, using like vanilla bow and arrow and stuff does feel a little silly, I'll be honest. All javelins got confirmed yesterday, Pete? We finally went public with it? Oh, shit, really? Javelins, huh? That's pretty dope. I've been in the works for a month. That's cool. Okay, right on, right on. Alright, so we're going... Chat, did I need to go south or go north to get back to the location where I was at? I think I'm routing this correctly. Pretty sure I'm routing this correctly. I want to say I'm probably routing this correctly. Carrots are pretty good food for the vault. Can't lie. Farmer's been hooking me up. There's a lot of stuff down here. I gotta take a look. I'm curious. I gotta see. I gotta see what's going on. There's some gildeds. There's some gems up there. Hello. Storage is not exactly at the best right now. Tom Brady! What's up, Tom? Love your work, man. He's the GOAT! That's why he's the GOAT!
that. Whatever, man. I don't need my Laramar anyway. Anyway. Oh. Hold on a second. I want to open that. Ow! There's a lot of mobs around. Just gotta take a calm and slow. We deal good damage with the chaining. I'm aware of that. I just need to be mindful of my health. Things can always happen. Not really taking out a lot of spawners at the moment, so I'm inviting myself to death. Hmm. Hmm. It's slowness proc. I think I could spawn down there and die. I don't think there's anything left in that. And if there is, well, then that's for another day. I right, came from that way. Still gotta remember to go to north. <laughs> it was. Let me heal, man. Steve's drinking a pot in the middle of a vault. What the heck, man? My mana's low. That's the third ob. Thank you for that. Bought one fast? Yeah, you are not wrong. What did we lose all our time to? I say lose like I haven't been looting a good bit. Oh yeah, two Omega rooms. I kind of forgot about those things, yeah? Yeah. That's the way it goes. Couple of gildas. We'll make our way back in a second. You left the third obelisk? Yeah. I, I did acknowledge the third obelisk. One would assume that if I said the third obelisk out loud and didn't go for it, that it might have been intentional. Maybe because I don't really feel too confident fighting a boss right now. Jumped in along those lines. Oh, hello, gilded down there. Um, I think we're gonna leave you to the streets. To be fair, they're watching without audio. Wait a minute. You're actually right. All right, I don't think I'm seeing too much here. Yeah, I think we're gonna head back. So North two, I believe. I do believe to my fullest. You think bundles would be a good shot for the multiples of low quality items crowding your shulkers? I've been thinking about it, yeah, of like readjusting the way that I'm looting. Or the way that I'm, like, handling a loot in the vault. Shulkers are getting annoying just with the amount of... And, I mean, we we have gone through a good amount of different chests. You know, like, the Gilded modifier and the Living modifiers have recently. 
but yeah, I don't think you are too far off in that suggestion. I will be going for that Alexa right up there, I think. Hope this does not end poorly for me. Oh, oh no! I don't know what noise I just made. Uh, thank you. Good. All right. Not bad. We should actually get like a fairly good amount of experience from the gold piles into the amount of chests that we open. Pretty pog. Anything here? No, we're good. Nice. Yeah, 4,100. It's not bad at all. Not bad in the slightest. Iskel, have there been any... Chest 2100, mine blocks 1500, mobs in alive 449. There haven't been any changes to increase in vault experience, has, has there? We're just kind of going back to back with a lot of vaults that are giving us a ton of XP. But like, we used to get like, what, 1100, 1400 off of vaults? I guess we're just getting good modifiers, I'd say. Or just being able to kill mobs more effectively so we can loot more effectively. Sick. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Alright. You're... Wealthy? Oh my god, dude. What have the vaults been today? Are you kidding me? Also, second time we've gotten the amethyst uh, today. I love this. This is where we use the magnet. It's a north facing vault. Good to bear in mind. Yeah, let's get some cash. Oh my god. A uh, hit range is disgusting. Our catalyst out of reach? No. I just haven't started making them. That's really all it comes down to. Thank you for your time. Yeah, I haven't ventured into Catalyst stuff at the moment. Might at some point soon. There's a lot to be done. I gotta catch up on three days of absence. My coin piles. There you are. Loop around the entire vault. Can't find the damn. You know what's funny? My pick has low durability and this might be what knocks my pick out. <laughs> Oh dear. Is this an X mark? No. Oh my god, that looked like an Omega. So many of these rooms just dip so low. You just go into it and you think like, yeah, this is an X mark. I feel like half the rooms that I enter into, I'm like, yeah, this looks like an X mark. It's the fog too? Yeah, it's definitely the fog as well. Like, this looks like an X mark until, you know, the back part of it comes in. Spawners up there. Not a square vault. Where be the gold piles, dude? I don't really want to like drop down and look for them because then I'm just wasting time if I can hardly find any. Alright, so north facing vault, we're headed to east. So I'm gonna need to go west to get back to I need to go west once to get back home. Oh, that's a fatty. Uh, I mean, it's a decent boy. I thought it was bigger than it was. Didn't mean to disrespect. Just call us flat? When did I say that? At no point in time did I compare you to a, a dollar pancake, silver dollar pancake. I 
There is no reason why I would ever call you guys flat. It is well known across the Twitch community that my chat is comprised of people with the fattest asses on the globe. I don't know how you guys even bear to get up in the morning and look yourselves in the mirror without simply crying out of shame of carrying that dumpy around all day. Save some for the rest of the world, you know? It's a quiet vault. I can hear my own thoughts. And you know what? I have therapy today, so my thoughts aren't actually that bad right now. Still don't like it, though. Is this dude gonna eat any food at any point? Wasn't this the guy who brought vault stew or suspicious stews with dandelions into the first vault he ran, took a four inventory spaces? Why is he not eating food? And now I'm hungry in real life. Well, that worked out well for me. 137 o'clock. Did I just say 137 o'clock? I've been getting enough sleep. East again. Let's see music for vaults might be dope. You can't overuse MCC elements though. Like, I wouldn't want to use MCC stuff for Vault Hunters, because... I like reserving that for MCC itself, you know? Surely at some point he brings back the lo-fi. <laughs> hey Pete, how you doing? Hope the stream's been well. Fell asleep to you running a vault, but I'm back now. Smile. Oh! In a wealthy vault, the room shows up. This is a, what the fuck, bro, where did, did y'all run out of ink? Listen, okay, I know Photoshop is straining you guys, but like, come on, we can do better. This is just abhorrent. Scott here with POV, did you watch for the last MCC? I watched B-dubs. Let me tell you. I wanted to... jump through my fucking monitor. <laughs> I wanted to jump through my monitor when he put his hands down on that hole in the wall round. He literally <laughs> would have won. Had he not gotten confused from what his teammates had said, bro, I wanted to scream. <laughs> A good ass POV though. I've been waiting for B00 to hop into MCC for the longest time, so that was a very sick thing for me to watch. Beat up by Minecraft. Beat up make mountain. So I've heard. Yeah, um, yeah, it was sick. It was a really good MCC. Really entertaining. This is good loot. You know, for having to throw away all the gold that we got from the Pickering, I'd say we're making it up in sizable fashion.
I'd say we're making it up in decent fashion. Already got that. We're out. Chat, once again, thank you for the room. XUCL. Is this a scissors speedrun? Oh my god. The speedrunner of all time. Opulent. 5% item quantity. A lot of five or six coin stacks. They were very, they were very thick stacks. Gotta be honest with you. I wonder if, I wonder if there is a config, like when a vault coin stack generates, that it's weighted differently depending on you know where it is. Because like I feel like running around here, we're finding a lot of smaller stacks. I want to check and see what this is. Hold on. Yeah, that looked different. I was not wrong. Hey, more coins up there. Oh my shit. Ah, okay, alright. Let's kill some things first before we uh, do too much. A lot of spawners around here, but I want that ornate chest and I want those coins. Where is the spawner that you guys are coming from? Oh, it's just underneath like this. God damn. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, alright, alright. We're playing Ring Around the Rosie, apparently, and there's 7 million mobs nearby. This is good. And... Sunlocked. Lost to a single block. Is the sword not good? No, not really. Ow! Jesus, man! Alright, we work from a distance. We take out one spawner at a time. I hate these guys, man. That works that way? That's cool. It's a cool item. You get a green bangle yet? I'm not trying to quit the scav. Too many items, don't care. This is a little risky. Not too risky, but a little. Nice. Are you within proccing range? You are, so I gotta go up and take care of you real quickly. Nice weapon. Somehow that didn't cancel the break. Cool. Alright, I managed to make that work. I'd say that was very well worth it. Where's the dude? That's an Omega? You sure about that? <laughs> what the bedrock speed bridge or bedrock bridge power whatever there's sack already i'm not trying to complete the thing I I'm, I'm not trying to aim for it chat sack this just pages You guys would never guide me wrong with a sack in hand, right? Bad 
dangle. Do we have a scroll? We do have a scroll. What the hell? Sack. Purple mob essence. We don't have purple mob essence. How do I not have purple mob essence? Is there not essence just on the ground chilling somewhere like a villain? Did I put it away in here? No, I just didn't get any. Alright, so we need mob essence and pages then. Pages? Inventory full? Yeah, that happens. Seems like it does happen from time to time. Alright, you know what? Hey, listen. Here's the thing, okay? I don't mind backseating. Half the time it's wrong. That's why I don't normally prefer it. But every once in a while, y'all are like, Hey, dumbass. Uh, yeah. Complete the shit. I'm like, alright, you know what? Okay. Fair. Kind of fair. Like, yeah, alright. Pretty fair. But you guys know what I mean? It's like with, with speedrunning and backseating. Generally, like... Backseating is shit because most of the time people don't know what they're talking about. Genuinely, like it's not their fault, but they have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. But the good backseating. Now that's quality right there. Get the page, not the scaffolding. Why are you opening a scaffolding? Why are you just trying to do this? Am I getting comfortable with fighting? Or something. When I shouldn't be? When this is a ambush spawner? I shouldn't know if it's an ambush spawner or not. It seems like. Oh boy. Is this all for just some regular chests? Yeah, I'm out of here. Where's the way I came in from? Oh, I didn't mark. Shit, hold on a second. I need to figure out where I am. I don't think I marked when I came in this room. I came from this way, right? No, I definitely did not. Hold on a second. I'm a little lost. Did you guys remember the direction that I needed to go to get back to mid? Or get back to home? Came from the south, right? Yeah, it definitely did. But then what was my routing? It's a north- it was a north-facing vault, right? We came from south. Yeah, we came from south, it's a north-facing vault. Okay, so we literally just go back down here and we're good. Yeah, yeah. Gucci, yeah, yeah, Zaza, E. Yodi, gang. Yeah. I'm a solo on HP from what? From who? Jesus Christ. He was talking too much. Whoa. Ambush spawner or something? We got one purple essence. Dodge the poison. More purple essence. Oh no, never mind. I know we came in from this direction. Didn't grab this though. Thank you. Different direction.
Right, 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 right. This is the layout of the vault. Yeah, I saw that gold pile down there. I'm going to try and... Oh, shit. Thank you. It'd be a bit interesting because I haven't found a drop-off location. I have not found a drop-off location yet. So we're headed east and we need to go back west to get home. Is that correct? I want to say I believe so. Three rip pages. There's the rip pages. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It just comes down to the mob essence. It just comes down to the mob essence. And finding a drop off point. I think the thing is, though, is it quite literally is just a drop off point difference now. Because if I find a drop off point, I just farm mobs in that room and I'm good. Like, I'm not, I'm not messing with any of the chests or anything over here. Run through. Goodbye. Christ alive. How is this any better than it used to be? How is this room any better than it used to be? From the essence here, I'm gonna fucking die though, but... I don't actually know that I agree with what I just said out loud. Whoa, 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 why are you not getting... Ah! That is one too many spiders for me to handle. I really regret the decision that I made. Damn it, I have no mana. Three purple essence. Thank you, shield. I'm getting the shards confused with the essence. That's it. Chat, throw me to the directions again. I gotta go east to get back home. Oh, wait, no, I gotta go west. What direction do I gotta go? I gotta go west three times. I'm going east at the moment. So here's the deal. I'm gonna try and get a little bit more back home because if I can't finish this, then I can at least make my way out with the gold that I have because this has been an extremely profitable vault minus the, you know, scav being a possibility. But if I can go near spawn and try and find a drop-off point, then I'm good. But if I went out further looking for a drop-off point, it's not going to be coming up Millhouse. I feel like a skull would want to know about this room. I just have a hunch. Spawn right to my left? Yeah, it's to my left. Yeah, because I've wrapped around that block. Okay. Yeah, it spawns right to the left of me. Does he have a scav things? I don't have one purple mob essence. That's it. But this is my exit. That's literally the exit portal. I'm going to check over here. Uh, east, 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 east. I literally just have to find a drop-off point. If I don't, I'm banking. I'm out. I'm bailing. 
gotta be here. I'll check one more room. Unfortunate. Yeah, this is unfortunate. I mean, I wasn't really, like super focused on the scav, and maybe it wouldn't have mattered, but yeah, I think there could have been a possibility that I would have forced it. But we spent a lot of time just looting and breaking coins. It's not a surprise that we didn't finish. It's kind of cool that we found the ornate chest and things like that to be able to work off of it, but yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. Nearly happened, but I wasn't playing, I wasn't PTFOing hard enough. Chad, the thing is, you always have to PTFO. And I just wasn't PTFOing. And I'm I'm quite upset with myself. But you know what? We still make it out alive. We still got 3100 experience. We still got a lot of coins. A lot of a lot of coins. It's not bad, you know? Didn't find a drop off, whatever. Vault chain is lowered attack range from vault spiders by half a block distance. W. The mob tab on the vault end screen now shows the total amount of mobs on alive. Nice. Fix the client side issue when equipping vault trinkets. Yeah! Fix visual issue with tooltip icons on vault pickaxes. Fix vault completion crates having the same contents for all players in a co-op vault. Interesting. Oh, poor Jordan. <laughs> the way into all. Are his items predetermined? Does he know? That's funny. Fix an issue whereas vault gear loot might have the level of the vault of another player currently running the vault. So both of these were debugged from when they ran their stuff earlier today. Okay. Fix spirit extract the UI again. Not showing items properly. Good one. Fix vault recycler not dropping itself when broken. Fix zombies in the vault occasionally spawning with significantly more health. Oh! They actually put a fix to this. Oh, that's cool. So Iskel actually, when we were talking yesterday morning, when we were doing the MCL practice, Iskel was mentioning that mechanic and how some zombies will have significant, they'll just spawn it with significantly higher health. The reason for that is because apparently in vanilla, when you're attacking a zombie and reinforcements come in, there can be, I don't know what the name of them are, but like alpha zombies, some shit like giga chad zombies, chad zombies that have like 24 HP instead of 20 HP. So they're not like super, super tanky. Yeah, commander, leader zombies, whatever, giga chads. Um, I'm not connected, by the way. Sorry, Kenny, j -Web, I appreciate you though. Um, so they have a little bit more HP you know, they got a little bit more HP. But the thing is, with the way that the vault did scaling for health, that bonus HP would scale up at the same multiplication rate as, you know, the base HP did. So you can start getting to a point where, you know, there was a lot of additional health on those zombies. And I guess they squashed it because they didn't want that to be a thing. Okay, interesting. Okay, everything empty. Things are good. Cool. Stuff's good. Things are great. All right, sick. What you got for me, boss? Ornate and Furious. Has every single vault that we have entered... West Testing Vault, by the way. Has every single vault that we have entered been some kind of, like, gilded modifier to some degree? I swear to God, they have been, right? Haven't they? Because we had... What was it? We had the living... And we had the... Right? I think so. I don't know. I might be wrong. There's also... One chesticle in here? Not every, but yeah, majority. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was literally every one of them. Well, let's try and get some Valkyria. We also could get a, an empty jar, black mob essence, pottery shard, drowned hide, and red scroll. So we still, okay, and we have a collection thing here. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh my god, the colors on that. I thought I saw like some sort of different echo or something like that. Oh, hello. Don't deal me too much damage. Whoa. Calm it down. Back it up. Give me the essence and then leave me alone. Hey, dude, look at Shading, man. Shading's crazy. Like, how do I just clear out that many mobs that fast? It's nuts, dude. Give me that. I need that. 
Cool. So we got a collection. Dead West, like right next to our spawn. We already got the empty jar. We're probably going to get like 50 of those. I only need one though. Unfortunately, it's not a square vault. Yeah, so we'll need... It's a lot of chest opening. It's a lot of chest opening. Alright, we're going south. So we'll need to go north to get back home. Y'all can just keep that in mind. That'd be great. Thank you. Well, that just work. That was silly. Um, could find some. Eh, nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah, actually, I need door. I need doors. Hey, the spider change happened. I don't know how it feels exactly, but that already didn't feel too bad. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Yeah, so we need to go north one. Two red scroll seems hard. Yeah, that might be entirely dependent on whether we get an Omega room or not. That's got some gilded's around. Nice job, nice job. Time. Oh, man. Not on ornate. Mm -mm. No, no way. Minus three minutes on an ornate vault. Oh, bro. What am I doing my shulker box? Stupid ass. What the hell? Pick it up. This dude plays Minecraft for a living. This could lead to bad things. Jesus Christ. It just clears hordes so effectively, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. The spawner was not done yet. Where's my crit range? Now the spawner's done. God damn, that hurts. <laughs> we got the drown hide. Oh no, I gotta get in the water. Hold on. Ah, leave me alone. Let me alone. Let me alone. Leave me alone. I need to heal. And you're not letting me heal. Oh, nice. Okay, well, we pulled the, uh, that's actually kind of major. We pulled the drown hide from the single ornate chest that we found. Oh my god. Okay, depending on what this gives, this could also be insane. This is one of the better rooms for scavs, I think, just in general. Need red scroll. Two of them. Oh, not that. Oh, that works now. 
Whoa. Spiders seem a good bit more manageable than they were previously. Stop that. Whoa. Spider pendant. Spider charm. Shoot, man. Barely any chests. Got some down here, though. No way, man! Where? Oh my god, that's a lot of shiny stuff. Dang it. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Yeah, that is very unfortunate. Oh, you're right on my ass. Hey, back it up. I ain't into that. Good old vanilla shield transmog. A classic for real. This would be my first ever time getting this room. Have not gotten this room before. My time playing. Interesting. Okay, well, let's see. I don't actually know how I'm going to manage this, but we'll figure it out, I guess. Does that didn't bring the pickering? I don't know if the pickering works on these blocks or not. I also don't know if they should. <laughs> what is that? Is that two Omega? Oh man. I don't know if I'm getting that. But we'll see. Two Omega, one pink, and like... That'll be five blues. Whoop! I want pink. It's like the way this is built so hard to know like what's gonna hit the wall and what's not going to. Just heal up fully so that if I do fall. I've got a little bit more damage on myself that I can work with. I'm gonna lose so many blocks during this process, man. Oh god. Shulker's an absolute mess. I mean, I've got the building blocks, but... Speed bridge, you bitch! <laughs> Literally, we get one more Omega, and, and, and it's complete. Like, we have enough. Love the Mario Mystery Block mechanic. Yeah. They did a really good job redesigning this, so it wasn't just chests floating in the sky. Looks very, very polished. So far, men, compared to Season 2, they have really outdone themselves with this update. Rizzle, I don't I don't need tips on a room I haven't been in. Let me explore it on my own box. 
Come on, man. Don't spoil shit. I get trying to be helpful, but like, it's my first time in this room. I don't need tips. I'm alright. You good? Oh, I see. I kind of forgot that uh, the rooms have exits, you know? It was kind of fun to block all Sean. <laughs> Death perception is still fucking weird, though. Pink. Oh, jeez. Hello, Vault Apple. Oh my good god. <laughs> I'm in an ornate vault and I'm spending time doing the and I very well should be. Oh. Calm down. So no scab? What do you want me to do? I can't control the rooms I'm given. I gotta take what I'm offered. Oh. Good parry. Ouch. Goodbye, netherrack. <laughs> That's why we bring compressed stacks. And hey, you know what? For, if we don't get another Omega from this room, at the very least, we have one for the next. When I find my second one of these at level 20. A lot of commons. Alright, it's just a nine on the floor now. Ah! Damn. Wait! Nope. Alright, for another time then. For another time. So we came. <laughs> Holy shit. Should probably mark this. That did not spark joy. Yes, it'll be fun to get back there. That'll be fun to try it back through. <laughs> it's a good few chests under here. entirely well not exactly eight minutes left cheeky red scrolls whoa jesus okay hey, hey, hey. relax Give me like a little bit of time to take care of the mass Done here? Not yet. Now we are. Two red scrolls? 
Not a glimpse. Not today. Yeah, given the fact that we completed that scab earlier, kind of nuts, you know, when you really think about it. Also, did I just not mark the way that I came in from? I don't think I did. Not sure why. Hey, Dan Pierce, I've heard him doing well. How about you? Oh! Hidden in the corner there, were you, bud? Nice. Um, that means I would need to go north, to get back home. Yeah, we need to go north to get back home. Oh, Scallion? Yeah. You are correct. Five minutes, twenty. Got a little bit distracted from the... <laughs> Surely I connected when I logged in, right? It was Beginner's Grace? Beginner's Grace was added yesterday. It's uh, a feature for every vault standard before level 10. Hey, we got some vault gear. Sick. Uh, it's a feature for every vault before level 10. And it's pretty much soul flame. If you die in the vault, you get all your stuff back when you uh, return to the overworld. You just lose any items that you got through the vault from it. And also the experience that you gained is all lost as well. It's a way for people to be introduced to running vaults in their first 10 levels, and also... Uh, I'm gonna go back home. Just kind of eases them into learning how to greed properly, how to, like, take risks, and kind of learn, like, oh shit, I shouldn't do this, and not immediately be punished on your first attempt of it being like, hey, um, <laughs> congrats on getting geared and everything for a vault. Sorry you died. Enjoy losing everything. I just kind of... Eases that. I got you? That's crazy. I think it's one more up and then we're good. Oh, nope. I am one too far up. I must return. Uh, 
Where be my exit? Nice. Before level 10 or 10 and below? I believe it's before level 10. So I think... <laughs> I think after this vault, I'm gonna lose Beginner's Grace. Oh, another nullifying focus, finally. I've not gotten many of those things. Would you soul flame instead? I mean, I don't know if I would do either, to be honest. I thought that was a chest. Silly me. Uh, da, 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 thank you. You know what I haven't really been looking around for in rooms or dungeons? I haven't been messing with those too much. Anyway, I'm gonna depart. Time to go back home. And quite possibly, because even if it was an average vault for us, which it very well might have been because there was a period of time where we weren't gaining much experience when we were just breaking the question marks from the Omega room. Um, we still have plus 100% experience, so I don't really see a way that we don't hit level 10 as a result from this vault. Believe is the best way to figure that out. So, uh, hey, send me through, boss. That'll do it! 3400 experience! 1900 from chess, 500 from mind blocks, and 900 from miles alive. That's level 10, baby. Alright, so I think that does end the, the grace that we got before, and I'm just gonna go ahead and roll these immediately. We have better boots than what I have. I need an upgrade, man. Still be good? Uh, I don't know about that one. Four armor base. Eh, yeah, pretty much already got, like, pretty decent armor. Okay. Alright. You're... What you got for me? Living, furious, and chunky. Okay. So, mobs deal more damage. This is a new... I don't think I've had this one before. I don't think I... Ooh, I don't think I've had this vault layout before. Which way are we going? South-facing vault. I see an XP altar down there immediately. So mobs deal more damage and also have more HP. Got it. That's totally fine by me, you know? I'm just gonna get my ass beaten by this guy really quickly and then everything will be okay. How much experience do you need? Thank you. Oh, six plating. Damn. So this uh, scav could be doable. We need an ornate with an empty jar, two green bangles from there, and other than that, it's just mob essence. Okay. Well, yeah, we got living, so unfortunately that's not gonna help us out too much on that feed. But we could still get lucky with some things. Did everyone say mine room was crystal room? Like, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more. Just because, holy shit. But I, I really cannot believe that only a week and a little bit after they launched this fucking SMP, this alpha of Vault Hunters 118, that they were like, oh yeah, by the way, the new vaults and everything we were working on, yeah, we have eight new layouts for you. Surprise! <laughs> What the fuck? And it's like, I, I know that obviously they didn't make those all in just the eight day. Jesus Christ. They didn't make those all in like the last eight days. Like, I, I get that concept. But the fact that they didn't just like give us everything that they had and had time to make that many during development periods between seasons is fucking crazy to me, man. All right, so it's a south-facing vault, and we're going west. Y'all could keep tabs on this if I need it later. We're headed west. 
I'm gonna need to go east to get back home. This room doesn't exactly look the most fun to try and navigate around. Could have coin piles. Wow, well, nice do a little check ski, yeah? Nope, not exactly liking that. How is... This is a pitch, but are... Are we sure that dash is working properly? That does not feel like bare minimum three dash distance. That feels like considerably further launch than just three alone. There's no way that's configured properly. Unless, like, the way that I'm jumping is giving me a good momentum boost. I feel like I'm gaining a ton of distance. Space and dash, it goes much faster. I mean, that's what I'm doing. Maybe that's just... Wait a minute. Hold on, empty jars. Okay. <laughs> can we, uh, can you give me a second? Oh my fucking god, that hurts. This guy's got the snipes as well, too. Jesus Christ. I've been watching a lot of VH over today, and I've been on this full understanding that if I die, I'll keep all my stuff. That ain't the fucking case anymore for me, bud. I just had to go and get a trinket for 50% more experience, and had to go and get a scav finish and all this shit. And oh yeah, suddenly you're level 10, bud? Eh, good for you there, bud. Sorry, I'm being annoying. Don't miss the crit. <gasps> oh, hey, bud. <laughs> I didn't even see you there. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you've got some health, don't you, bud? Plus 50%. What is that? It's an elite. Rooms can spawn with elite variations of mobs that grant a lot of experience upon death and just spawn naturally. You don't need to be near a spawner, they will just appear on you. Incredibly cool little mini boss mechanic. Ah! Scared the fucking shit out of me, dude. <laughs> Calm it down. As if I ever doubted for a second that going into heal at the duration that I did would be a possibly bad decision. No shot. How? Okay, how did that crit miss? Uh, rip my freaking HP, dude. Is this spawner done already, man? Dang it, dude. Is there no other... No other ornates back behind this thing? I spent all that time in one ornate just for me, just for me to not get a, an empty jar. I mean, that wasn't a given that that would happen, but for one ornate, that was a bit silly. Minus five minutes. <laughs> Got some experience though, at the very least. I don't know exactly how the mechanic works, but I don't know if I would have not 